y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? This is the third time filming this intro because I can't seem to get the technical aspects of this video together, but it's okay. Today I'll be going in with, you guessed it, the title, the name is in the title, the Apogee 2-Step Protein Treatment. Um, I have a previous video on this product from like 2016, I will link it right here. I also have a video on the lighter protein version of this product, which is the 2-Minute Reconstructor. I will link it right here. Um, I'm going in with this because I've seemed to lose, I've seemed to have lost some curl definition in the front sections of my hair. This part of my hair is usually um, uh, prone to breakage. It's a wave, not really a curl. And I'm finding myself having to like lose definition here, have no definition at all. It's pretty straight. Um, and of course it's not heat damage because I don't use heat on my hair. I just think it's some elasticity and protein loss in my hair. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to go in and just restore that protein and the elasticity before this section just gets out of control. I also have some breakage in the crown section of my hair, which isn't really like new or atypical for me. Um, it's it's pretty normal that part of my hair just struggles. But I'm gonna go in with the two-step protein treatment. And although I use rice water which strengthens the hair, I use henna, I use Ayurvedic herbs, you need to realize that those products, those ingredients are not replacements for good old hydrolyzed keratin, which is the main ingredient in this product. So even though you're doing the rice water, you're doing the Ayurvedic treatments, you still need to go in every now and then with this protein treatment, with an intense protein treatment that's not eggs, and not mayonnaise. No shade, but that shit don't work. Those those ingredients, those food-based products do not deeply penetrate into your hair like a hydrolyzed protein. A hydrolyzed protein has smaller molecules that can get into the strand. Food-based proteins do not. Um, so according to this, it's supposed to stop hair breakage, rebuild hair structure for six weeks, and it's ideal for processed or natural hair. When I was heat damaged, I did this once a month, and it really helped to like expedite my restoration of my hair. Did it cure my heat damage? Hell no, ain't nothing gonna cure no real heat damage. So don't let all these videos and stuff fool you. That ain't about to happen. I, hope I have a whole video on the truth about heat damage, linked right there, um, but it will help give your hair some bounce back it will help to strengthen your hair but of course it won't restore your heat damage so yeah even if you don't have heat damage i still recommend using this in your regimen obviously i recommend every six to eight weeks um i have not been following my own rules because it's been about six months since i've used it so because of that <laughs> it's time to use it today um because my hair is i'm not happy at all with the way the front section of my hair looks like I just, I'm not happy. This product is very liquidy, it's very sticky, it's very gross. I mean, I don't really enjoy doing this treatment because it's annoying, but it's a necessary evil. Um, you can't just apply it on your hair, but it gets super messy and nasty. So I always apply mine to a spray bottle, and that's what I recommend you doing. So I'm just going to apply it into this spray bottle. How long is this gonna? Shh. Not while he's pouring. <laughs> I think this should be enough. So that's what it looks like. This brown color. Um, with this product, I like applying it on damp hair because when your hair is wet, it just drips everywhere. Like it's gonna drip everywhere regardless, but it drips less once you go in on damp hair. So I just towel dried my hair for about 30 minutes and now it's time to apply and I'm just going to go section by section. Time to apply. I'm just going to spray it on like I'm spraying on rice water. Ooh. It's going to get everywhere. Right on, make sure you get at the roots and the ends. I may need some more, I'm probably lied. So you get those ends. You're supposed to comb this thing through, but I don't know who in their right mind who has kinky curls. 
curly hair is gonna rake this through. This gets hard on your hair. It feels very stiff and dry, like you're applying like straight sulfates. So for me, I don't comb it through. I just squeeze it into my hair and press it in. That's it. you cover your whole section and you can see because I'm applying it on dry hair it's not dripping everywhere I can't stand that sh But it sure works. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> um, what I actually like about applying it like this is it actually applies like a foam, almost like a conditioner, which again makes it not as drippy. Like even though I'm still obviously sticky. I'm not as sticky as I could have been. So that's that's a pro. Um, but I am gonna sit under the hooded dryer um, for about an hour or so um, until it dries. Now at this point, you don't wanna be touching it. You don't wanna play with it because your hair literally feels like it's going to break off. Like once it gets hard, you, it, like once it gets hard, it, it, it feels like it's gonna break. Like you can't, really touch it until it's time to rinse it out, right? I start under the dryer for 30 minutes. I'm surprised it's dry. The roots in here are a tad bit wet, but the ends are completely crispy and dry. And this is why you shouldn't touch your hair, because even trying to remove the clip is, I wouldn't do it. Like, I wouldn't. So I'm going to rinse it out. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, so this is my hair with the apogee rinsed out. Um, to get it all out, I did condition with my favorite conditioner, the Herbal Essences White Charcoal. I will link everything down below. Um, my curls have not fully come through yet. The thing about apogee is that it's a two-step treatment. You're supposed to follow it up with the Balancing Moisturizer from the apogee line. I don't like that shit, <laughs> so I'm not going to use that. I'm actually going to go in with my favorite deep conditioner. But you can see even without my hair fully doing the two steps, my curls are coming back a little. Um, if you kind of look at my older videos, you can see that this curl, the texture in the front, like it's getting a little curl, which is usually what it looks like before it was really looking completely straight for lack of a better word but the curls are definitely coming through now time to moisturize and i am wearing a tube top for those of y'all who nasty and i mean after a intensive protein treatment you want to use the best conditioner that you have i have a whole bunch of new ones i'm really ex excited to try but i couldn't take no chances i have to make sure that my hair was super duper moisturized so i'm going in with bay the soul tentacles afrotastic curl elastic i've mentioned this on my channel multiple times
gonna go in with my hot head. Um, love this. I, I mean, I haven't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I think I have in the past, but I haven't mentioned it in a few years because I haven't had one. But I've recently got one and so happy to have it because I can just put it on, keep it on for, it usually stays hot for about 20 minutes or so. So it has like, it's not like a super hot heat, like you're over the head dryer. It's more of like a nice, soft, even heat. Um, I like that about it. Even though sometimes you want that extra heat, this is the right amount of heat just to heat up your conditioner a little bit. So I'll leave this on for about 20 or 30 minutes while I lay down. Okay y'all, finally, um, I'm done. I just rinsed out my DC. And these are my frizzy but healthy curls. I have a lot of frizz, but it's okay because I'm about to style my hair. But I can say my hair feels thicker, it feels fuller, it looks darker, it looks overall healthier. And the pieces that I was trying to focus on, which are the front pieces, they don't look as straggly. I mean, it's really probably hard for you to see the difference, but I wasn't really happy with the way my wash and goes were looking. So yeah, this is what my hair is looking like now.